Za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta bang ting nik ting nari tumpaya kato sa ke kato sa ek kontalana we rutasi za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta bang ting nik ting nari tumpaya kato sa ke kato sa ek kontalana we rutasi za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta bang ting nik ting nari tumpaya kato sa ke kato sa ek kontalana the intro music yeah Woo hey everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about standards honestly i just released a video a couple days ago of me being incredibly frustrated with star Trek fleet command when i say that i was upset you you saw the video i think i made it very clear how i felt and i feel like all of my feelings were justified how the game had just started to let things slip and that was becoming problematic ruining a weekend that should have been fantastic that was simply falling to the wayside and ignoring so many problems until after they'd already occurred with communication severely lacking. And that's tough to say because in a lot of ways, the past month, it's been very good. So what I want to talk about today to get your thoughts and your opinion on is talking about standards and feel free to use the comment box because as you saw in the intro of this video, I had our friend Archimedes make a video of him creating and I called out somebody to do this in a live stream, 25 ships. Create 25 Kumaris, send it to me, and I'll put you on the video. And that's exactly what it for Ark, and he still had, as you saw, the ability to create more, showing the outdated standard of PvE chests and PvP chests, even though this has been asked for for a very, very long time. The standard has not been updated to the point that the standard has failed. It is failing the players. But that's not really what I want to talk about today. It's simply an example of things in the game that Scopely has got to at some point start addressing because I not had a long conversation today with them. And one of the main things that I said, and I said it strongly, that sentiment in this game will create it or destroy it. It will live or die by sentiment, not by how good the events are, not by how good the features are, not the fact that it is Star Trek, but what will keep players in this game and bring new ones in and allow them to stay is sentiment. How do people feel when they play this game and events that we just had are going to make them feel poorly. And let me explain why. And I'm coming at this not from a position of frustration and anger, because I believe that this is something serious enough that needs to be listened to by them. I encourage them, please, whatever prejudice you have or, or negative thoughts or sentiments about content creators or, or player feedback, put that aside and listen to this video. I want to talk about some of the things that were such a negative and why we need to have that addressed right now. Now, let's talk the events. If you remember, this month, this arc, not, not, not this, this is a problem we'll talk about in a second, but if you go over there, Tendi, Lower Decks, that month was a good month. Even with the couple of issues that they had on their side, where there were extra Tendi shards given away, you know what, we'll let you have them. They ended up having a mostly smooth run when it came to events. There weren't a lot of problems, there weren't a lot of issues with scoring, and we were able to do everything we needed to do. Thus, it was easy to be happy about these events, even if, and this is okay, you didn't like the style. Not everybody likes lower decks. I've learned to accept that. I have found that more people enjoy it than not. Well, that makes me kind of happy. I mean, more people enjoy lower decks as a show that have given a chance than haven't, but I don't expect everybody to like it. But still, the events themselves made it to where people enjoyed the game. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. That's positive sentiment. They enjoyed the month because everything rolled out smoothly. Regardless of what features come in the game, what characters come in the game, what matters is how the community feels after playing the game. Did they have fun? Did they want to do more or did they just not want to do anything at all? Well, some of these events made us kind of not want to do anything at all. Let's take a look first at the Syndicate Advancement SMS. Now, we have talked all the time about standards and what I mean by a standard, and I even explained this to them, a standard should be a consistent amount of success in terms of when we have an event, we know what it looks like, we know how it operates, and there's no issues on launch. Well, this obviously had issues in a couple of different ways. The main issue was it was a three-day event that originally was five days. Now, here's the proof of that proverbial pudding right here. Thank you, stfc.space and Ripper. This was an event that has already run before and had run 
which you see before, not with an SLB originally, but they added an SLB. That's fine. But it was a five-day event, and it was allowed for you to complete it through various ways. Now, the ways that you were able to complete it were there's been event stores that allowed you to get currency. You know, there were battle passes that would have syndicate XP in it. There was ways to finish these events if you just played the game. Cool. Fine. Whatever. Now, we had an issue. We talked about this in the other day video. I'm not going to get too deep into it. Where this came out as a three-day event, it was incompletable for free-to-play players. It was impossible to complete. The only way to complete it was to go buy a currency pack or a multi-phasic, you know, store to get Syndicate XP. That was the only way. Fine. Whatever. That created other issues. What did that create? So what they ended up doing last time is if you look at the words here, XP is only supposed to give you five points. However, your daily turn-in was giving you double. So for me, I would get 250 daily XP from Syndicate. That turned into 2,500 points instead of half that amount because they were giving 10 to the five. Now, this was something that they did, and this is their words, because there were other issues. So to alleviate those issues, to allow people to complete, they allowed that to stay double XP. Now, here's where it became a problem. For those who wanted to say spend, well, what are they going to obviously do? We're going to track, hey, I'm getting double this. I'm getting 10 points. I want to complete my event. Well, I got 7,500 if I did three days worth, which I did. So I was like, okay, well, where else can I get that? Well, as a person who does spend on the game a little bit, not a crazy amount, but I do spend. Come all the way down here to multi-phasics. So if I'm running through this math adjustment in my head, my first thought is going to be, hey, the Syndicate Booster Pack, which by the way, when it comes to multi-phasics, one of the things that I recommend the most is this pack. It gives me 570 Syndicate XP. Now, from the math we just saw, should give me 5,700, but it did not. It only gave me half that because here, Syndicate XP counted correctly. Now, I use the quotation marks because that's how they see it. It counted correctly. It counted for the amount as listed in the event, even though dailies were paying out double. Now, whether we agree that was right or wrong, and I feel like I lost, I mean, you see, I'm out of multi-phasic. I spent them and was unable to finish the milestone. I feel like I lost out. Now, whether or not that feeling of lost out is legitimate or not, objectively, the issue was there was no communication and there was no, there was no standard. See the theme that we're getting here. The standard would have been, hey, this event lost out poorly. So let's address it with an announcement. And I'm not here to dump on Eco. Eco Boost Engine has done a fantastic job in my opinion, but that doesn't mean it's been perfect. This was not addressed. I brought it up to them the day that it launched and said, hey, you're gonna have problems. This is incompletable. You can't reach the final milestone as a free to play. And as the standard we talk about being set, a regular SMS, which is what this is. See at the very top, it does not say heroic. It does not say Kobayashi Maru. It does not say AMS. It is a solo milestone that should be completable by an individual player once like you should just you can complete this by yourself if you agree like the video so that's the standard we're looking for now if that is not the case the next step in that standard is communication tell me why i can't complete it why is this only a three-day event and not five and explain to me that this does not work as it reads why does this not work as it reads because my dailies give me double now whether that's intended not intended you need to communicate that because what ends up happening is somebody trips up, bam, like an idiot rev deuce and goes and spends his hard paid for currency on this and doesn't get what he was hoping for. Now, at the end of the day, sucks to be me. I lost multi-phasic credits. And I even said on a live stream that this should work if the scoring is as it is described, but it wasn't. So the standard were dismissed in two points. The first standard miss was quality control. This should never have rolled out as it did being a three-day and not a five-day event, which would have avoided this problem to begin with. The second quality control issue, or the second miss of the standard, was no communication. Communication being a huge issue here. Another, neither of these things were here, so we were left to try to fend for ourselves and find out on our own. A player should never have to find out on their own. And honestly, and I feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot here, but it's the truth, you should also never have to rely on a content creator to figure out how to run an event and how it pays out. That's just the truth. You shouldn't have to come to RevDuce for that information. I'm glad that you do. I'm glad you trust me to be your source for the game. Truth is, the game should be your source for the game. But this wasn't the only issue. Let's take a look at Apex. Apex has had a set standard for a long time. We know how it rolls out. We know what it's supposed to look like. Except it didn't. It did not. We had a two-day Apex event, as you can see, is already over. And then we had two Elite Outlaw leaderboards. 
two one day ones. Whatever. Okay, anyway, you got a leaderboard. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. All of this is supposed to run concurrently, together, at once. Not mismatched all over the place. Needing an announcement to... Standards. Why is this an issue? Well, we know what Apex is. We run it all the time. Now, we don't run it as much as some players want. That's fine. But there's a standard. We know exactly how long it lasts. We can track how long it lasts. And as we talked about in the last video, we literally have records of how long it's supposed to last. But it doesn't. Here's why it's a problem for me. Well, I do believe that for the most part, things in the game that have gotten better. Features. New ships and stuff in the game. You know, the Cerritos, I think, is a good feature. The Franklin A. The Fisha. The officers that have come to the game. I mean, the fact that the lower deck officers are good immediately into the game. Tier 1, level 1 is a fantastic thing for the average player. Those things have gotten better. What has not gotten better this year, with the exception of about five weeks, is the standard of events. Whether the events are rolling out poorly, whether the scoring is incorrect, or whether the events themselves are broken completely. This year, 2022, we've seen a standard fall to the wayside, much like those PvP and PvE chests that still give out crap. You're hunting level 45 hostiles and getting Kumari blueprints for no reason. Hey, let me open this PvE chest and see what I get. Oh, wow. Look at that. Kumari and Voclis. And Intrepids. And Antares. And Saladins. Where was I farming, by the way? New Calgary! In deep space! I need none of these things. Standard. Fall into the wayside. Not been updated. Not been addressed. This is a tremendous issue in this game. It does not mean that the game is unenjoyable. But without a set standard, it's tough for you as a player, me as a content creator, to have positive sentiment. To look forward to every day. What ends up happening is we go, this is probably going to suck again because I'm used to things being bad. Players should not come into a game used to hiccups, used to problems, used to events not launching. And I got into this discussion with a few players the other day where they say, well, look, you know what's going to be bad. Just don't do the events the first hour they launch. That should not be the expectation of a player in any game, let alone Star Trek Fleet Command. No player should come into a game saying, I should not participate the first two hours because it's going to be bugs. It's going to be bad. It's not going to work correctly. There's a delay in scoring. That should not be the expectation of a player. Standards need to be raised for Star Trek Fleet Command. And that's fine if it actually happens. Maybe this video elicits change. I try to not come into this video with my opinions bashing them over the head with a proverbial content creator bat. But that doesn't mean what I'm saying is not justified in how I'm bringing it about. At the end of the day, Scopely and I hopefully want the same thing as you do. A fun game that lasts a long time and builds a great community. We all want the same thing. The longer the game lasts, well, the longer Scopely lasts and the longer I last. Shouldn't we all not want the same? That only happens when a standard is set that shows Scopely cares and listens, and that Scopely can change for the better continually. And I will give them credit that they have in some ways. But here's the problem. If you're going to ever make this player base believe that you care about them and love them, and that you're not just there to collect a paycheck from them, you've got to increase the standard at every level, not just one. And because the sentiment in this game has been negative for so long, you've got to create the standard across the board, not just in areas. It can't just be ships getting better. It can't just be better officers. It can't just be economy getting better. I know that's a whole other discussion. It has to be everything at one time. And until they do that, they're going to keep getting videos like this and the one that I just made. And I'm curious what you think. I'm curious your opinion because I'm bearing it all. I'm being honest. I need y'all for me to feed my family. It's the truth. That's why every time you come to a video, there's a freaking house fund at the top. There's a baby fund at the top because y'all are why I'm here. The game is successful. I can be successful if y'all are happy. But if y'all aren't, that's how we start losing players. And my goal is to make you happy. That's the entire reason I'm here. This video does not have all the hoopla. does not have all the fun editings. It's just me being honest. And hopefully y'all agree. And hopefully that if you provide the feedback needed, they have promised me after I had a one hour phone call with them today, that they're going to watch this video, listen to it, and hear your feedback. This is not a rev just trying to get your analytics. This is just the bare truth. Let me know what you think about the standard of the game, what needs to be improved, and hopefully next week I've got positive news for you. And that's all I've got. Not the video I necessarily wanted to make, but the video that needed to be made. Sorry for being long-winded. Sorry for saying everything ad nauseum. And hopefully you have an amazing day. 
Live long and prosper. Stay safe for those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Join the Discord where we're having dev Q&A questions input now. There's a channel for it. That's all I've got for you. Hopefully you're having an amazing Thursday. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.